Good afternoon. My name is Larry Mogolansky, and I'm here today to talk about guest service, technology's final frontier. This presentation is brought to you by Novility. So there's so much happening in the travel world. There's so many experiences that can be taken. So it's hard for any individual to, to show loyalty to an individual property or, or chain. So how are we going to do that? Because the modern traveler is now a mercenary and they're looking at hotels as commodities, sacks of coffee or flour or sugar. That's the way they look at you now. It's, it's unfortunate, but there are ways around this. How are we going to differentiate our brands or differentiate our products? Service. Service is the defining factor. It's the compelling reason why people will stay at your hotel. Excellent guest service delivers strong, positive, emotive results. And it's very important, no matter what money you spend on a property, that's just a room. It's a, it's a very beautiful room, but I can't tell you what brand it is. Did anybody tell me where this hotel room was shot? Anybody know? There's a few cues there. It's uh, the Four Seasons in Hong Kong. Um, does that look any different than the Marriott uh, India K that I'm staying at? Price points are probably two to one. The differentiation is not the physical product anymore, it's the service level. Because service makes your property memorable. The key thing here is that we tend to think of service and service delivery as something that is strictly generated by people but technology can be the turbocharger and the driver to enhance the ability to deliver service. So I've developed what I call a five-step approach to how you can take technology to enhance guest delivery. Let's go through that. The first one, for those who are hoteliers, is optimize what you already have. Looking here at um, a number of property management systems, all of them are terrific, although some for Agilis may say Agilis is more terrific than the others, but they're all pretty good. But I'll bet that if every hotelier out there is not using all of the functionality and capabilities that their property management system affords them. In fact, they're probably using only 10 or 20 percent of all of the great opportunities to build their business. So start by using everything. Really speak to your um, individual representatives for your property management system, I'm not condoning one or the other, and say, what more can you do for me? What do I have on the system? And they're all, all of them are eager to help you. Mo for example, most property management systems will allow for check-in via tablet. Here's an opportunity to eliminate the front desk or reduce front desk access. Another one is flight integration. So they can actually plan your guests arrival at the hotel and get things started right there. Property management systems also allow for integration of ancillary services, everything from your spa to your restaurants, creating a, what I call a frictionless integration and you're capturing more data, you're capturing more of the on-site experience. Next step, let's talk about your concierge and how to make your concierge truly more useful is to make your concierge mobile friendly. Well, the first one is offer SMS, and that means live chat options. Give, empower your concierge by giving them the tools to make their job better. Everyone knows what live chat is, an opportunity for people to talk on property. There are many systems that operate this way. Give them tablets and touch screens. This is not expensive anymore. Allow them to get close to their customers. And by giving them that, you can ensure that they're well-versed and treat them as hyper-local. In other words, I want your concierge to be an expert at everything within walking distance of your hotel. Every shop, every restaurant, every experience that people can take because they have to beat Google, because they have to be better than Google to be an effective concierge. And therefore, by giving them data about your customers, your concierge can anticipate their needs and get involved with true personalization of service. 
The next step is casting technology. Is anybody familiar with what I mean by casting technology? This is uh, somewhat a new area. But basically, casting technology allows for the integration of the smartphone directly to the screen in the guest room. So what in happens in effect is that your iPhone or Samsung phone actually becomes the remote control for the TV, what we call the TV screen in the room. This technology exists and is readily accessible today. So everything now, think of it as the, all the preferences and everything your guest wants is stored on their smartphone, which fully integrates into the system. They don't have to re-enter ever. Once it's done once, it's with them forever. Imagine that as a loyalty tool. It also allows you to integrate all their preferences into the room through Wi-Fi on their arrival. So when they check in, it's saying, welcome, how are you? Here are all the t your TV channels have already been set onto the screen. All of the information regarding your stay, if they're part of a group, it's fully integrated in and it's immediately accessible to them. The list of items that already have modules that are available is endless. I've just picked a few. But as you can see, pretty much everything can be controlled from an iPhone or Android phone that, those, that your guests already have and are familiar with. So those three steps will really help boost service delivery, but really that's only one step of the equation, and we have to go much further. Because hospitality, as we all know, is based on one-on-one -on -one relationships, and those relationships occur between the guests and every time those guests interface with a member of your staff. Now, what technologies are available to help and assist your entire team in terms of working and talking with their guests. So the step, next step is your CRM or your um, customer database. Does everybody have a CRM? I trust you do, I trust you know about them, but you have to unify it because in fact you might have multiple CRMs. You might have one for your restaurant, one for your property, perhaps one for your spa, one for your, uh, maybe even one for your store. And what you need to do is Look at your, guest, your CRM and say, one guest equals one profile. That's the simple situation you have to develop. Because once you're unified, you now know what your guest preferences are. You can anticipate requests, and you can personalize service delivery. This key tool allows your team members to focus on personalized service delivery because they don't have to ask a question of whether they like a soft pillow or a hard pillow or whether they like a room on a lower floor or a high floor or whether they like coffee or tea because you know already and you will be able to enhance service delivery and the guest will feel that that personalization really makes them a part of your property. So, but we have to go further than that because we now have to talk about technologies that will actually help your team because we have so far been talking about the guests, but we have to actually enhance your team's capabilities. And this is where another set of technologies come in, which I'm going to call, instead of guest facing, rather employee facing. So what are these particular technologies and what can they do? Well, for example, you have a new employee. You want to reduce the time it takes to get them on, on boarded onto your property. You want to make sure that when an associate or team member comes in that you can keep them longer. So employee retention because the cost of a new employee and bringing somebody in is very expensive. And you want to enhance accountability because you want to close the loop and get feedback. So what software programs are available for us here? Well, let's start with housekeeping because for most properties, it is the largest department in terms of labor and perhaps in terms of labor cost. So step five in completing the five step, let's start with flawless, absolutely flawless housekeeping. So here's guest demands. They want a perfect room, period. They want it flawless or they're going to kill you on social media. You'll be destroyed on TripAdvisor, you'll be destroyed on Yelp, you'll be destroyed on Expedia. All they have to find is a dirty washroom or something is not perfect and you're, it's finished. And I can tell you they won't come back, nobody will, will shop you. 
negative onlines. Most, if you look at negative reviews, if you have Review Pro or any one of those programs, you're going to see that they'll flag that negative comments about housekeeping are a direct result or will lead directly to lowering your star rating on TripAdvisor. Everyone's read the studies and know that for every half point reduction in your TripAdvisor rating, you're going to lose at least 20 pounds of ADR. And that's a Cornell study uh, that's available online. Uh, I checked into my room at 8 a.m. this morning. I didn't want to pay for next day. I expected my room to be ready. I just came on an overnight flight. I'm not the only one who's expecting that because we also expect 24-hour room readiness. The old days of saying, I'm sorry, sir, but your room won't be available to our check-in at 3 p.m. is totally unacceptable. Then they go on to say, but I'll sell you a room for 50%. Well, um, your rating just went to one star because I'll, I'll penalize you for that. There's a few companies that sell scheduling software for housekeeping. They allow you to do just that. So instead of your housekeeper going to room 101, 102, 103, or saying this, they'll go from room 101 because that person just checked out. Then they'll go to room 317. Then they'll go back and forth, filling the rooms and bringing those rooms back into inventory uh, as soon as possible, which is when you need them. But there's one step forward, and that is if anyone here has ever tried to be a housekeeper, this is the most physically demanding job on earth. I attempted it for one day, and I needed three days of recovery. It is not easy to change 12 beds and to clean 12 bathrooms. It's very difficult. It's physically de demanding, and it's uh, not a job that anyone here wants to take on themselves. So the challenge is how do we get housekeepers to do a better job and to do that job consistently? So live training using motion detector feedback is a way to do this. And it eliminates the legacy issues of shadowing. The current way most people train a new housekeeper is the older housekeeper trains the same mistakes into that person. So if they're doing it wrong, guess what? The new person will do it wrong because that's the way they've been trained it. So it eliminates that. But it goes actually further than that because onboarding is just a step it ensures continuous feedback and an ongoing high standard of performance. Net results, rooms will be cleaner. Uh, repetitive strain injury, especially important for those housekeepers who have long-standing ingrained errors in their approach will be reduced and ultimately you'll have less negative online reviews. Uh, better morale, better service, of course. So in summary, here's the five steps and the five ways that training, uh, rather uh, technology can be used to enhance your service delivery. First is take charge of your property management system, harness its power, go back to your property management system provider and say, what more can we do? Secondly, give your concierge full mobile capability. Give them the ability to understand their local area and work directly with the guest using uh, these, these tools. Next is look at casting technology. This is less than a year old, but it's very new and allows the guest's mobile phone to become the control system for their entire uh, stay. Unify a single CRM, just think one guest profile per guest, no more, no more multiple profiles for the same guest and make your housekeeping perfect. And uh, thank you uh, for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you.